Greetings in an issue of video presentation. We're going to see how we go about using Medusa, a password cracking utility, to perform a VNC brute force attack on a remote target that is running the VNC as a service. The Medusa password cracking utility is a speedy, massively parallel, modular login brute forcer for networking services. For this video demonstration, I'll be using Kali as my attack platform, and I have a target of Metasploitable 2 that I will be exploiting with the Medusa. So the first thing I've done is I've gone over to my Metasploitable 2, I've done an IAF config, and I have confirmed that I know the address of this Metasploitable install. They're both on the same network, and to confirm this, I can go back over to my Kali, and I will ping the known address for my Metasploitable 2. Go ahead and hit Control c break that sequence. So I know that these two machines can now see each other. If you are unsure what services are actually running on Metasploitable, you can use Nmap from your Kali machine and just type in Nmap space dash S capital letter V followed by the IP address of the target. In this case, my IP address is 192.168.145.128 and now if I hit enter in just a moment, Nmap is going to come back and tell me exactly what services are running on my target machine of Metasploitable 2. The NMAPS service scan has completed successfully, and I see that I do have an install of a VNC running, protocol version 3.3, running on port 5900. Medusa comes pre-installed on my Kali, so I have nothing to do as far as downloading or installing the package. We're now ready to launch Medusa and attack or go after my Metasploitable 2 machine and exploit this VNC service that is currently running. So I've typed in Medusa space dash H followed by the IP address of the target. Then I give it a space dash U and this is for the user word list that I want to provide. So I'm providing Medusa with a word list and I'll also provide Medusa with a password list that it's going to use. And we're telling it that the module we want to use, the dash M, what module I want to assign for this particular exploit is the VNC module. Now once everything is configured correctly, I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and in just a moment it's going to come back and it's going to start going through a list of 1009 usernames and trying to figure out the passwords. Now you'll see that as the results pull up here that there are some successes. Once you have a number of successes, you can go ahead and break the sequence by just typing in Control C. I stopped the sequence at about 64. So as I scan through the results of my scan for this VNC vulnerability and looking at the passwords that are being successfully determined, I can see that the number one password is actually password by itself. So we're going to use that password to allow us to have access remotely using a version of VNC that comes pre-installed on my Kali machine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control C, break the sequence. If you need to restart the scan, you can look at the bottom where we broke the sequence and it tells you exactly how to restart your scan and again start looking for those usernames and passwords. I'm going to go ahead and type in clear at the prompt, which brings up my terminal and gives me a clean screen. Now we're going to attempt to connect using a version of VNC that comes pre-installed on my Kali machine. So I'll continue on here with this password cracking of the VNC service that is running on my Metasploitable 2. I'm going to use the Xtype VNC Viewer. So I've typed in Xtype VNC Viewer and I followed that up with the password of the target machine. That's all you got to do. I'm not going to go ahead and hit enter. And in just a moment, it's going to pop up and ask you for the password. Now, we know that the password that is most commonly found with Medusa on this particular exploit was password. So I'm just going to type in password. I'm going to hit enter. And you see that I now have remote access using VNC over to Metasploitable 2 using that password that we cracked off of the VNC service that was running. This access provided me with total root control or administrator access of the target machine and I can type in any command and take over my Metasploitable 2 machine. 
and I can type in such as uh, uname space dash a to get the version information all about what's running on that particular target. I can also type in ls to see what's available at the root directory and I can just keep on typing in commands and I won't have any problem because I do have full root access. In this short video presentation we got to see how I used Medusa and one of its modules, the VNC module, to crack using brute force a username and password that is used to have access to the machine remotely using VNC. If you have any questions or concerns about this video please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor and I'll see you in my next video.